Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, it is a really great honour for me to be here with you today at this magnificent rally in support of the Iranian people and their resistance movement, NCRI, and I bring to you the warmest greetings from many of my colleagues in the Irish Parliament. It is a really great honour for me to be here to share a stage with these great other uh, dignitaries, and particularly uh, Patrick Kennedy, whose uncle was here making such a symbolic speech as President John F. Kennedy back in the 1960s, whose family all came from Ireland when Ireland was under the British regime. And we are now celebrating this year in Ireland, a hundred years this year of our very first independent Dáil Éireann, our first parliament. So we know what it's like to be oppressed. We know what it's like to be under someone else's control. And it is, we have celebrating this year, a lot of celebration for a hundred years of Ireland being free um, and establishing our first parliament and never ever give up hope. We are with you. We are with you and the brave people of Iran in your noble quest for freedom, human rights and democracy in Iran. For me, the NCRI and its president-elect, Mrs. Maryam Rajavi, are the trailblazers for a better, prosperous and successful Iran. The Iranian resistance movement is the beacon of hope to millions of Iranians, both at home and abroad, who are suffering under the brutal dictatorship of the mullahs for the last four decades. I am also proud to be part of a cross-party effort in our parliament to call on our government and the EU to adopt a more firm policy towards the regime in Iran. We agree with Madame Rajavi that the religious dictatorship in Iran is the greatest threat to peace and stability in the region and indeed to the wider world. We agree, um, we fully support her call that on the international community, especially the EU, to act to end the regime that has enjoyed for almost four decades with regards to its human rights violations and support for terrorism. In this regard, I am proud to let you know that my colleagues tabled a cross-party motion in the Irish Senate in November 2016 calling on the Irish Government to recognise and condemn the brutal massacre of thousands of political prisoners in Iran in 1988 as a crime against humanity and to request the United Nations to order an investigation and bring the perpetrators to justice. I am also proud to support the cross-party motion by my colleagues in the Senate in November 17, urging the Irish Government to act in the EU for an EU designation of the entire IRGC as a foreign terrorist group. The EU must, must designate both the IRGC and the regime's Ministry of Intelligence in their entirety without delay and end its appeasement of the regime. And other speakers have outlined what they've been doing, trying to disrupt your activities here in Paris and in other parts of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, you have achieved this thanks to the strong and inspiring leadership of your president. That is why the regime in Tehran fears your movement more and conspires against it. Madame Rajavi has put forward her 10-point plan for the future of Iran that acts as a roadmap to establish a secure, free, democratic and secular Iran. You can rest assured, you can rest assured that we in the Irish Senate will support your just cause. We will stand with Iranian resistance and the Iranian people in your quest for human rights, democracy and justice. Just as we have, we want you to have it also. I hope and know that we soon will celebrate the final victory over the mullahs with Mrs. Ajavi in Tehran, the capital of a free and democratic Iran. And I want to thank all of you, the over 15,000 of you that are here today, for coming out in such difficult weather conditions. Uh, and we are with you, both in Ireland and right across this stage. Uh, and soon, hopefully, we will all be in Tehran celebrating a free, democratic Iran. Thank you.